What's going on guys, it's Rob here with Combat Self Defense and I am super excited to show you guys today's video. Today, I'm gonna to be going over my footage of my private training session with Liam the Hitman Harrison. If you don't know who that is, you're on the wrong channel. But, just in case. Harrison is one of the greatest Muay Thai fighters probably of all time and I had the honor of him coming to my gym and not only doing a seminar but also holding pads and teaching me some of his tips, tricks, and techniques. And in today's video I'm going to show you guys some of those techniques. I'm not going to show you all of it but I'm going to show you a good amount of it. If that sounds interesting to you make sure to subscribe and you have notifications turned on and let's get started. So right off the bat here, we're working on my left kick. Um, Liam likes that, but then as soon as I throw my teeth, he sees something he wants to improve. He tells me that he wants to see me rotate my shoulders less and focus on aligning my hips, knee, and shoulder as I throw the teeth. He says that's gonna get the strike there faster and make it land more solidly. And right there we had the second of many, many times Liam Harrison threw me on the ground. First 30 seconds. <laughs> and here we're playing with one of the warrior family favorites. The kick punch or the fake Superman punch, whatever you want to call it. And while I thought I was pretty good at it, Liam says I was over exaggerating how much I was leaning to the left and he wanted me to stay totally upright to A, make the strike more hidden and B, allow me to rotate more into that right hand. Here's another really good tip I got. Minimize how big the switch in your switch kick actually is. Because I personally have a tendency of switching too far, not just into the southpaw stance, but almost into a sideways karate style stance. And while that's really good for stability, it's not good for speed. So when you go for your switch kick, try to keep the switch as small as possible so you can actually throw the kick as fast as possible. He's about to hit this shit and lift your leg to block. Pull it back. Oh, I left that. Up. Oh. Hey. Hey. Ah, that's it. A bit faster now, yep. though, yeah? So in case it hasn't been made clear, Liam Harrison is a world ender when it comes to leg kicks. He throws those things devastatingly fast and with twice as much power. But knowing that, being someone on the opposite end of that, you're obviously going to be very defensive of your lead leg, which he's able to capitalize on by now faking a leg kick to set up a left hand, left knee, whatever. If you have a super dangerous but super obvious weapon, your opponent will be very good at blocking or defending from that strike. But while they're worried about this, they should be really worried about this. I may be studying Filipino martial arts a little too much right now. I'm not sure what I was trying to hook at. I guess you could say I was trying to throw a left hook at his ankle. I don't know. I feel bad about it, but he corrected me right away. Yeah, you don't need to be moving like all, all the time. Yeah, nice, relax, nice, relax. Well, the shots, you can't move around and then unload some power. If you're gonna have some power, you need to move. If you're gonna move, you can move. Then you need to set yourself. And that's when you can move. What he said. And there I am paying him back for the trip for Good. If you're gonna do that one, do that one again, sir. Leave yourself wide open. Mm. If I do it that one, teep me, I do this. Step back in the top on, smack, fall around me down. Mm. So with that hand, step your left leg back. Yeah, yeah. Nice. That way, if I fake, and I'm you're here. miles away, I can't reach it. There. Yeah. Whereas if you just stand there and go like that, ah, yeah. yeah. 
if you and really it, that'll still put me in the same position you can left kick then correct so step back palm left kick palm sir yeah ready okay. nice like that yeah one more Okay. Yeah, good. Give a kick. Give a tip. Give a big. Nice, good. Just one step. I'd be doing like a little, just a little bit of a jig. Sir. One step and kick, yeah? Bang. Sir. Keep that weight forward and kick through me. There you go. Feel different. Yeah, very yeah. different. Again. Uh, all your shin going oh, through then, yeah? And there's no telegraph because you're not. Yeah. Step again. Yes. Good. Liam Harrison tried to sweep me and I back kicked him. So here we're transitioning over to using the boxing mitts. Focusing a little bit less on the kicks, a little more on hand speed and hand power. I'm a big proponent of mixing up what tool you're using from round to round. Do a few rounds with the tie pads, do a few rounds with the mitts, a few rounds with paddles, whatever. Fuck kick again, bump! And I block the first one, kick again, fast bounce. Sir. Jab it, yeah. Jab around. Go to free bump, yeah. Jab, bump, head kick. Oh, nice. Lean back, keep my back, lean back. Boom! Boom! I have a back kick you back. That's my front! It's just if you kick with your left, lean back. Yeah. Keep with left. I see. Yeah. You're falling in the Yeah, exactly. Just lose my leg a block. Sir. Whereas you kick with my back, there's not much I can do, boy! Yeah. Up! Good job, Ryan. Yeah! Three! Good! Skip kick. Boom! This time, skip your feet. Right up, go. Slam that kick. Ooh. Boom! Whoa. Yeah. Let's kick first. Boom! Skip. I got blocked. Oh, man! Oh, man. Ah, good. Keep that long. Cool. So, yeah. Ah. So I'm staying in kick range. Yeah, yeah. Sell it like it's a kick. So you kick me first, I block. Boom! Oh, yeah. Second time. Oh, oh, man. Man. Oh, ah. yeah. Now, I think the switch kick is probably my best roundhouse kick, but I do notice people block it pretty easily. So adding something on the half beat, as in right when you switch the strike, is gonna make it easier to land. And I don't know if Liam saw that I wasn't getting much faster with my switch kick, or maybe this is something he likes to do himself, but I find this very useful. You step up, uh, uh, boom, good. Bam, uh, good. Man, lucky fast, bam. How I lucky now, so no, no shoulder turn, yeah? Okay. Uh, uh, that's Not too long after this, I learned that Liam used to spend a lot of time playing soccer or football if you're from the UK. And that's exactly the kind of kick this is. It makes perfect sense that he likes throwing a low kick like this because this is essentially how you would kick a soccer ball. So, long story short, watch some Ted Lasso. So that's more fast and that's the rip that one in. Side kicks don't work, but here we are pulling them off. One of the greatest fighters in the world is recommending that I do it, so... So here we're just gonna run through a few highlights of our last couple rounds. At this point, we're mostly just reviewing the stuff we've already done. It's not necessarily new stuff, it's more like just putting into practice the stuff we've been doing for the last hour. Now, I've been very fortunate in my martial arts journey to learn from some of the best current and past fighters of any generation. And while I consider that a huge honor, a lot of the times I kind of pick up one or two things, not just based on time, but also just based on things I think work for me. But I have to say, 
I fell in love with pretty much every single thing Liam Harrison taught me. I'm gonna review all this footage 100% hour after hour after hour, trying to get every nugget of information because honestly, this is a gold mine. I know I'm not the greatest striker of all time. I'm not pretending to be. However, I am learning from some of the best people to ever do it, and that's the point of this video. So to close, I'm gonna let you guys listen to some of the advice that Liam gave me. Do you feel like people, I, I, for me especially, like as they get more and more practice, more familiar, they start ignoring the basics because they're focusing on... Yeah, and then it gets forgotten and then you're wondering why you're fighting shit or training shit and there's stuff going wrong. Basics win fights. You're gonna level high fight at basics win fights. Like that. 